the new manager doesn't want us to call him the new Jose Mourinho. So perhaps we should call him the new Avram Grant. Either, either way, given the turnover of managers at Stamford Bridge in recent years, what does he have to do to uh, still be in a job at the end of the season? Well, the short answer would be to win the domestic double and the Champions League and probably play the most beautiful football ever seen at Stamford Bridge. He's got an interesting task in a way, because aside from all the obvious pressures that you have to be a Chelsea manager, there's the extra pressure where there is a special kind of interference sometimes at, at the club. And the Fernando Torres situation is one that really needs to be resolved and quite quickly. He, he's got to make his imprint on his team and get them a bit more competitive than they were uh, last season at certain stages. I think there's got to be a message there as well. If um, Vilash Boas can show English football that he can uh, find a way to accommodate Torres, Drogba, whoever he wants to make Chelsea function very well as an attacking unit, as well as obviously the solidity that we expect from them, um, then I think people will really stand up and take notice. He has to get the, the, the strike force pairing or, or whatever formation he decides to go, he has to get that right. But also, of course, there's a problem behind them in terms of the supply to, to the strikers, which is why throughout the summer they've been linked to your Luka Modric, uh, Neymar, all, all these guys. But when, when you're talking about um, buying new players, it fascinates me that Chelsea haven't actually been more active in this transfer window so far. I think when uh, Torres and uh, David Luiz arrived in January, everybody expected that to be um, the new phase of Abramovich spending, and that you know there was a lot of talk that you know here he comes and he's going to come back with you know a lot of money behind him to to back a new campaign. And as yet, they've not really been nailing the kind of deals that you expect. So that's quite surprising to me. Of course, in previous seasons, Chelsea probably wouldn't have bothered haggling over paying an extra five or six million for, for a player. But with financial fair play on the horizon, perhaps they're trying to be a little more prudent and uh, they're, they're dragging out their negotiations longer with the result that if they do make their signings, which we assume they probably will, it'll be much closer to the start of the season than before. We know that Mr Villas Boas got off to a spectacular start at, at Porto and swept the board there. Will this season end in similar glory? I've got a feeling he might struggle to finish above the Manchester clubs, so we'll see.